Hey, hey everybody. Welcome to Greg's Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is from Weyerbacher. It is insanity. <laughs> this is a this is an English barley wine coming in at 11.10 ABV. This will blow your hair back. So guys, be careful with this one. This is a fun one. Drink this one at home. Uh, it's from Weyerbacher Brewing out of Eastern Pennsylvania. There's a rotating schedule on this one. Uh, the food pairing cheese is a sharp blue cheddar pungent gorgonzola limburger. Your real heavy cheeses with this one, guys. Uh, the uh, the glassware is a pint Becker's fine mug oversized wine glass. I got the Duvel snifter. Uh, the beer can be for 11 percent. 11 percent. You can keep this for years and years, at least five years or so. I mean, 11 percent. It's gonna keep for a long time if it's un under the proper conditions. So. Let's get the cap off this bad boy and see what we got with this barley wine. They make this beer, and I'm gonna, I probably should have done this in reverse order because I do have the other one in the fridge in there, the Blithering Idiot. They take Blithering, and this is made by Aging Blithering Idiot Barley Wine in Oak Bourbon Cask. So this is like that, and I'll probably do that one next. Probably should this would probably bass backwards, but... I probably should have done the blithering idiot, then the insanity, but I'm doing it backwards. I'm going to do the insanity first, and then I'll do the blithering idiot uh, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, that way I'll know what I have here with the most they can do with it, and then I'll drop back and see what the original is supposed to taste like, like original Dr. Pepper or whatever you want to call it. So I'm flapping my gums, I believe that. Let's get this in a glass. Alright, that looks pretty in the glass. Not too much in the bottom, a little bit. It poured pretty good, but at the end of it there, we got uh, we got some chunkiness in there, so uh, it's uh, clouded up considerably. It is a uh, darker, almost a, a dark iced tea color. I mean, it's a... Uh, didn't pour a whole lot of head in what head it had. 11%, uh, especially uh, on the higher ABV beers. Sometimes you you don't get that head. And if it does pour any, it dissipates very quickly, it's gone. So let's get a nose on it and see what it's about. <sighs> I'm getting uh, a lot of malt and I'm getting coconut and vanilla from being aged in the oak bourbon cast. So I guess you're saying, you would say I'm getting a little bit of the bourbon there. Most definitely. Most definitely. Wow, very interesting. I'm not a big whiskey bourbon type guy. I used to drink that in my younger days, but I gave that up for beer. <laughs> Imagine that! It's almost like it's been uh, it's on like cocoa nibs and banana beans or something. It's a very pleasing smell. So, cheers, guys. Let's see what it's about. Eleven percent. Be careful. Ooh, got the warming there. Wow, what a what a wonderful taste. Wow, that is so impressive. Wow. That is very nice. I wish I kind of had done the other way around. And uh, I may have regrets about that. Because I probably like this more than the blithering idiot. 
because of the vanilla and the rum aspects of this, even though I'm not a heavy fan of this. The heavier barley wines usually to me either have such a strong alcohol presence or it's so sweet and malty from the higher ABV and the sugar they've had to put in to make that kind of a beer that it it turns it, it yeah, I just it's just it's too strong for me. But this one Of course I know it's a sipper too. Please remember it's a sipper. If you go somewhere and you think you're going to drink a couple of these and be able to drive somewhere, you hell with my hands all I can say because as far as I'm concerned, if man pull you over, you go through a license check, you're going to be looking into that flashlight and say, drink this one at home. 11% guys. That's a strong one. But, on the other hand, if you're at home, oh man, that's a super beer. I don't know if it's going to get a 10, but I believe it's an A beer. It really is impressing me. I'm usually not a big fan of the bigger beers. Once you get to 11% and above, it just blows my hair off. But that's not bad. It really is. And it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, so I'm going to sip on it and let it warm up and see what we have with it. But I believe we're going to have an A beer here, guys. So. Stick around, see what we end up with. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. Got a little bit of junk in the bottom of it. I'm not a big fan of that, so. But it's, this is some nice stuff. I mean, it really is. I don't know if I'm going to like the, uh, the blithering idiot because uh, it's going to be boozy for the being so being uh, put kept in the oak barrels on this one. It's, it's smoothed it out and gave it a lot mellower taste and a lot mellower smell, or the other one's probably going to be a little too strong for him. But, we'll see. That being said, final chug. Ah, that's wonderful, it really is. Being in the, being in the oak bourbon barrels has uh, definitely made a difference in the taste on this. So. I think it's an A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. It's a 9 on the scale of 10 tonight. Pretty tasty. Like I said, I left a little bit in there because of all the stuff that's in the bottom of it. I want y'all to see this, so I'm going to bring it over and let you see it. So, I don't know if you can see the stuff that's floating in it. But, it is what it is, can't control that, so, and I've had it, uh, I've had it for a little while, I've probably had it four or five, maybe even six months, 11%, you, like I said, you keep it for years, you just got to deal with that, so with that being said, I'm going to do it. That's a good beer, it really is. Nice one to finish off the evening, which I've done, so uh, very pleasant, very pleasant. I'll give it a 9 on the scale. Rake Beer has this at 98 over not overall and at 89 in the style. Beer Advocate has it at an A-. I think it's a solid A. Like I said, other than the floaties in the bottom of the bottle, that's for 11.10%. 11, 11 that's pretty impressive. I've had beers that were boozier. That were a lot less alcohol than what this one's got. So, guys, I'm flapping my gums. It's pretty damn good. Uh, if you see this, pick it up. If you like the heavier barley wine styles, especially if you like the uh, when it's been in the uh, the oak bourbon barrels. It gives it that. If you're a bourbon fan, and you like beer too. You'll like this. So, guys, pick it up if you see it. And otherwise, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's do it tomorrow. Let's make it a date. See you then.